We're back, bitches. We're back to talk about 86. Now, in the previous uh, tentacle review, we gave uh, season one of 86 a nine suction cups out of 10. And again, let me let me tell you what a beautiful first season for an anime. Now, you're probably right now grabbing grabbing the seat with your fingernails or probably clinching them next to your partner or something because you're in suspense to whether whether to find out if 86 season 2 it's uh they dropped the ball is it good is it not it's good <laughs> it's good it's, it's, it's actually good it, it's, it's we don't have a promise neverland type of scenario where the first season is beautifully masterpiece level and the second one is like dog shit no uh 86 season two is is good but is it is it a, is is it as good as season one is the question um i don't think so here's the thing there's some there's a clear difference between 86 season one and 86 season two and that difference is the premise the premise in season one is in a way simple two different types of people one clearly above the other that uses the other for its selfish needs and you get to see perspective from both allows for great political commentary for great social commentary like make your premise stupid simple make your characters deep and complex here on season two the premise becomes more convoluted because now without touching too much on spoilers now you have different perspectives like now it's 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 not just the simple two different status of uh social political commentary now you have different perspective going all at once uh and you kind of lose track of one because of the other and the series does a good job balancing all of them at the end of the day but did they have to do it i don't know i think season one the way it ended it finished on such a high note that it was going to be difficult to follow up you know it was going to be i don't know i, I kind of wish it ended on season one because it would have been one of those situations where you just get to sit down and be like wow yeah let me imagine what the world is going to be now for them as opposed to seeing what happens and then you're stuck in this limbo of like I don't know if this is what I want for them or not. You know what I mean? So on season two, we get a beautiful conclusion too. Uh, the, the way 86 ends is absolutely worth it. But what happens in the middle, especially at the beginning, those, those first episodes on season two, they can drag. They can take a toll on you. And if you're not patient, you might actually even drop the series, I think. But upon revisiting it's like yes these this are necessary for 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 what this story eventually becomes uh but it, definitely the pacing it's you feel it more here than you do in season one season one it's very focused on what it wants and season two brings way more elements into itself that sometimes it's difficult to track and sometimes it's just difficult to like even care uh because they still do the social political commentary, but it's not as evident, and it's it feels like it's now more uh, rooted to that particular story scenario that has never happened <laughs> ever in real life. So it kind of loses a little bit of gravity on that, but it's still very good. So, uh, long story short, eighty six season two. It starts off very sloppy wet for me, but it ends like a fine, sharp sword. So maybe it's just a necessary evil that we have that first part of the season to be as heavy as it is. 
to get to 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 the end uh so even though it has its its dragging moments and loses a little bit of focus and you might not be having the interactions of the characters that you want to see it's still worth it at the end and it's still like one of those that you're like yeah i'm gonna take it too hard uh when when season one came out i immediately bought a figure from that series and watching season two did i regret it no i absolutely not i'm very happy i did and it was very worth it so 86 season two gets eight suction cups out of 10 because of its message because of its score uh because of the what it what it wants to say how it says it and the ending is a very good one very sharp very it, it gives you everything you needed to wrap up the story and it's just very well told but it does drag a bit the ending definitely pushes up a lot like on this one to give it a, an eight if if the end had been just a good one definitely would have been uh would have been less but the ending definitely saved it today so again eight suction cups out of ten let me know if you've seen this anime let me know what other anime you want me to review and keep suggesting shit because i'll watch it eventually <laughs> bye